Welcome back, everybody. Renowned dermatologist and author of the best-selling book, Beyond Soap, Dr. Sandy Scottnicki talks about how to pare down one's beauty and skincare products for healthier skin. It is all about what she calls the product elimination diet. And at first, I thought this meant food. But good right. morning, doctor. It's Hi, very thanks. different than what we might assume. So we're talking head-to-toe skincare. It's our largest organ, and it absorbs everything that we put on it mm -hmm. into our bodies. Right. So our bodies react in what ways? Well, part of the reason I did this was uh, I, my interest is allergy to things that touch you or contact dermatitis we call it and I just started to see tons and tons of people this mass increase come to my office all dermatologists have reacting to things in their skincare mm -hmm. but the problem is there's a disconnect like people don't realize the shampoo can affect your face so they change all their face products but they didn't change their shampoo, so the rashes kept coming, right? Or they they changed something on their body, but they didn't realize their detergent could be causing an issue. So right. what I decided to do was just have, it's a play on words for an elimination diet with food, but it's product. So you actually eliminate all your skin care, your hair, your body, and your face, mm -hmm. because it can transfer to different parts of your skin. And I give you a subscribed list of things that have no fragrance, no organic, no paraben, no formaldehyde, all the things that can give you rashes you get better and then you can reintroduce. The problem is also there's not enough dermatologists in Canada. There's 600 in Canada and a lot of people can't get to a dermatologist. So mm -hmm. I wrote the book to help people before like that live in a different city where there's no dermatologist or there's no allergy testing for them to get to. Because it is a 28 day reset yeah. and you do obviously have to cleanse yourself so right. you're doing it in a safe way of reintroducing let's take a look at an amazing before and after we're, we're looking at one of your patients yes yes uh, it looks like she was going through some pain so what is yeah. that so she was having a severe allergic reaction to an ingredient in her shampoo and she didn't realize it so she'd seen multiple doctors lots of dermatologists they told her she stopped her face creams and lotions but she was reacting to a preservative called methyl isothiazolone in her shampoo Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that shampoo, it may not affect your scalp, but it can affect your face and your body. So she, she was been put on prednisone, got better, and she wasn't, she wasn't, you know, as soon as the, the prednisone went away, a rash would come back. So, so I look at the after. <gasps> yeah. Amazing. And she was from out of town. She drove four hours out of town. Um, I, I did end, eventually patch test her, but I put her on this sort of product elimination diet and she came back and she was so happy because she'd been suffering for months. Of course. Yeah. So again, that's one of those things. Somebody might look at you and say, oh, it's the skincare, it's your perfume, or it's the makeup you're using. Right. Back at the ranch, it's yeah. the shampoo. Yeah. Right. She thinks it's getting washed off in the shower, but it's penetrated the skin. Your pores open up when the heat yeah. turns on, and there it is all over yeah. her, her face and body. Exactly. Here's another one. Talk us through what happens here. So we're um, talking about uh, psoriasis, eczema. Well, mostly this, these cases are severe allergic contact dermatitis. Okay. But what happens with a lot of people is they do have those chronic conditions, and they're getting worse even though their doctor's given them a steroid medication or something. So this is another patient who was uh, severely allergic to her hand wash. Again, the ingredient in the hand wash was this preservative methyl isothiazolone and fragrance she was allergic to. So we took it away. I gave her, I told her what to use uh, from the subscribed list and she got better within about a month. And it cleared up and it's so much better to do it this natural way yeah. through the elimination and the right. reintegration rather than having to be on some medication for who knows well, how long. What often happens is one of the most common questions we get asked is what to do when you have a skin rash to a skincare product. Most people go and get another product. Right. And that's not the answer, right? Oh, try this. Or everyone's an expert. Oh, use the emu oil. Try this. Do yeah. that. I say, no, stop everything. Go to this list and then reintroduce. And I think I've sort of honed that down because it's so prevalent right now and people can't get to dermatologists and they suffer like that women did for months. And it's layering before we leave the yeah. door to go to work. We, it's the, very the lotions, good. the soaps, yep. the, the shampoo, mm -hmm. the makeup. Mm -hmm. And you say with anti-aging creams and lotions, right. sometimes there's harsh chemicals yeah. like retinol. Yeah, 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 and they all accumulate. That's another type of reaction. I, and I talk about that in my book about sensitive skin, why we have such an increase. 40% of the industrialized world say they have sensitive skin, not possibly genetically. So it's the stacking of all the products. So your hair goes out, wash goes over your face, then you put your cleanser, then your moisturizer, then your foundation, then this, then that. Sunscreen, and makeup. 300 chemicals later, your mm -hmm. skin's going, I don't like this. And yes. you get start red and burning. And you go to the dermatologist and they're like, why do I have this? And we're like, stop all that, start with something basic, reintroduce, 
and find what works for you. Great advice. Clean slate. For more information, the book, a link is available on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Also, you can follow at Dr. Scott Nicky on Twitter, online. You're available for information, too. Thank you so much. Thank Over you. to Mel. Great tips.